All right, so this is chapter 10-5, trigonometry and area. Our learning objective is that you will find the areas of regular polygons and triangles using trigonometry. Problem number one is finding area. It says, what is the area of a regular nonagon with 10 centimeter sides? So the first thing we're going to do is draw a nonagon that is nine sides. So it kind of looks like this. It's got 10 centimeter sides. The next thing that you do is to draw your, it's like your nonagon radiuses from the center to the vertex. Um, we're going to go CP and CR. And you get a nice little isosceles triangle right here. The measure of our central angle, which is this entire angle here, is 360 divided by 9, 360 because that's how many to get all the way around, and 9 because we have 9 sides. When you simplify that out, you get 40. So the entire isosceles triangle here has a angle measure of 40. Okay, so now the perimeter all the way around the nonagon is 9 times 10 because I have 9 sides and each one is 10 centimeters and that is equal to 90 centimeters. Alright, so make sure you have your apothem, this point from your center to the middle of your side. It's also perpendicular and we are going to find the angle uh, PCS, PCS, this little angle in here. And when you take half of your central angle, you get 20. So if you take this little triangle, triangle PCS, and you draw it out, he's going to have a angle of 20 right here, a side of 5 because the whole thing is 10, so half of it is 5, so that's where this 5 comes from. Alright, so that's this right here. Okay, so our next step is going to be, we're going to focus on this triangle here. We have the side, we want to find the apothem, because in order to use the area of, the formula for the area of a regular po um, polygon, we need the apothem in the perimeter. So we are going to label is A. And so if we care about A and 5 and we have this angle, so we've got the opposite and the adjacent, so that is our tangent. So when we go to solve, We're going to substitute in 20 degrees for our angle, 5 for our opposite side, and A for apothem, for our adjacent. The next thing we want to do is make sure we solve for A. So we are going to, if I was doing this, I would put this over 1 and then cross multiply. So then I get A times the tangent of 20 degrees equals 5, 
and then I would divide both sides by tangent of 20 degrees. So that's how we get this, that our apothem is equal to 5 divided by tangent of 20. Now that we have that, we can take our area formula. So area is 1 half times the apothem, which is this value, times the perimeter, which in case you forgot, is this value. So we plug in, here's A, and here's the perimeter P, and then we just do a nice little calculator chug to find that. And let me show you how I would put this in my calculator. So I would go uh, 0.5 times parenthesis 5 divided by the tangent of 20, close parenthesis, times 90 equals, so 618.18, and let's just take a look at our formula, uh, it's a, it doesn't say a rounding, so we'll round to the nearest square centimeter, so that is 618 centimeters squared. All right, so let's try this one more time. Um, what is the area of a regular pentagon with four inch sides? Round your answer to the nearest square inch. So we are going, we must have a pentagon. That's the first thing. And then we've got four inch sides. So this is four inches. And then we want to make sure like the one before that we draw in our central angles. And I'm actually going to use a straight line this time. So here is, here's what it looks like. Our apothem will be, yeah, I know this. Um, our apothem will be down <laughs> the center. And, um, well, no, that's normal. And so the first thing we want to do is find our central angle. So we are going to go, um, so we'll call this C, we'll call this A, B, we'll call this D. So we're going to find angle A, C, B, and it is equal to 360 divided by 5. So that's 72 degrees. So if this whole thing is 72 degrees, let's take um, and isolate the triangle ACB. So if I'm putting in my apothem and I'm going to label it A, this whole thing is 72, so I just want half of that, and that's 36 degrees. So if I know that the angle of ACD is equal to 36 degrees, so if this whole distance from A to B is 4, then half the distance from A to D is going to be 2. So AD is equal to 2. Alright, so I'm going to break this down even further. Yeah. 
So this little triangle here is going to be this right triangle. And let me put in our dimensions. It's going to have 36 for this angle up here. It's going to have 2 for the angle down here. We care about the apophthegm. So if I have this angle, I have the side opposite and the side adjacent. I'm going to use tangent to find the apophthegm. So it's equal to 2 over A. And I'm going to cross multiply. Put this over 1. And I get tangent of 36 degrees times A equals 2. And then if I'm solving for tangent or for A, I divide both sides by tan 36. So then if I go So the area formula is a one half the apothem times the perimeter. I have the apothem, we just found that. And now I need the perimeter. So if I'm finding P, it is equal to the side length times the number of sides, which is five times four is 20. So now I'm going to go, my area is equal to one half times two over the tangent of 36 degrees times the perimeter, which we found to be 20. So let me show you again how I'm putting this in my calculator. So I go 0.5 to represent one half times parenthesis 2 divided by 36 tan close parenthesis times 20 and I get 27.52 it wants us to round our answer to the nearest square inch so that would be 28 inches square and just to make sure we're on the right path, that is a correct answer. All right, so we're going to talk about finding the area of a triangle um, when you have a side, an included angle, and a side. So the side angle side area formula is one half the side length times the other side length times the sine of the included angle. So for this scenario here, we have 1 half times 12 times 21 times the sine of 48. If we use a calculator to crunch this out, we get 93.63. So the area of the triangle is about 94 square centimeters.